Good afternoon for Tuesday, January 24th. I'm Abby Murphy and this is your News in 90. A University of Florida employee was injured after his lawnmower fell into a ditch off of Museum Road in front of Beatty Towers. Scooter drivers pulled over and worked together with a police officer to pull the man out. The driver is receiving medical attention. That wasn't the only ditch rescue this morning. A horse in South Florida was also saved from a roadside ditch in southwest Miami-Dade County. It took a large-scale effort to lift the horse out of the ditch, but in the end, the horse walked away uninjured after being freed. A four-year-old child is in the hospital after a shooting occurred at a gate apartment community in Tampa. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office responded to the crime this morning. The child's current condition is unknown. President Trump will announce a nomination to fill the empty Supreme Court seat next week. While Trump was campaigning for the presidency, he announced a pool of potential justices to fill the spot. The Supreme Court vacancy has been open since the death of Antonin Scalia last year. Trump also signed executive orders this morning to advance construction of the Keystone XL and Dakota Access pipelines. The orders will speed up environmental reviews but require the pipeline segments to be manufactured in the United States. Since both pipelines cross into Canada, the projects must now be resubmitted to the State Department for approval. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.